Action Sports Network with PFL welterweight Lucas Barboza. Miss my man, how are you doing today? Feeling really good, my man. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you for coming on. I appreciate you taking your time out of the day to be with me. Now, after having a few MMA fights earlier in your career, you're making that transition back from grappling. Why did you feel like now was the right night time to get back into MMA? Well, um, you know, uh, I've been doing jiu-jitsu for a long time. Uh, just like just like you mentioned, I, I, I when I, there was a point in my, my career that was like between jiu-jitsu and MMA. So I always want to follow one of both. And I did, you know, fight both. And I jiu-jitsu got me, you know, great opportunities. So right now I feel that I've been conquering everything in jiu-jitsu, you know, and now I'm the next level. I'm on a level that I want to like chase in different, you know, I have a different goals in life, you know, become a champion now, not in jiu-jitsu or no gi, but also in an MMA. Uh, and I feel that, you know, I got an opportunity to sign up with, to sign up with PFL is a great comp is a great organization. And I feel that now that's the moment, you know, that's what I'm feeling like right now. Absolutely. So I want to kind of dig into that a little bit more. Like, why did you choose the PFL? Obviously, you said you want to win that title and PFL with the season format gives you that chance to kind of come in, make that impact right away. What other things about the PFL enticed you to sign with their promotion? Well, you know, like you can see now that they've been growing a lot, not only with the with the prize, with the in the like the way they they treat the athletes. Uh, it, it is different, you know. The promotion has a lot, of, a lot of potential uh, to 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 be one of like one of, is already be one of the best, you know. But is I just like the you know the the rule sets, you know that they do. It's very exciting. Uh, the the guys there over there too competing, is, it makes it the the sport grows a lot. There's a lot of guys jumping to the PFL now, and you know there's a lot of tension. Uh, just just sign Jake Paul on that thing, which is like a big thing, you know, that you can see that the the event is definitely like taking to the next level. So I I have a feeling, you know, that they the promotion is it's it's a is is going to be, you know, it's gonna have a lot of impact on the MMA scenes scenario. Yeah, I mean to your point, they've added a lot of signings like Shane Burgos, you know, Tiago Santos, and now they're adding you to that roster as well. So yeah. they are adding a lot of, you know, great fighters to that. What do you feel has been the most difficult part about transitioning back to MMA? Oh man, on the on, on the beginning it was it was it was hard, you know, trying to find timing, trying to find myself, you know, my stands. But uh I've been trying to do this like over I've been trying to fight over a year, like about a year now. And you know, I'm just like in uh, MMA and th the fight didn't happen. Then it started jiu-jitsu and the MMA again. So, like, the, this whole time I've, I've been training and I've been developed my, my game. And, you know, on, on, on beginning, it's, like, kind of hard for you to to get this, you know, timing for shoot, for shot and, you know, some certain submissions because we've got gloves. But, uh you know, right now I'm I'm feeling good. You know, I'm I I, I, I like the the my, the game that I'm I've been building it. So I'm feeling comfortable right now. <laughs> now we obviously know about your world class jujitsu and your grappling game. What about your striking? Like, what are you most excited to show off about your striking coming up in this fight? Oh man, I'm a guy that you know I'm explosive. I want I'm I'm a guy that I I am a I'm a fighter, man. You know, I, I, I go after it. I don't, I don't care if it's like on top or on, 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 you know, if it's on my feet, it's on the ground. I like on the beginning, I was kind of hesitated, you know, to get punches, you know, after a long time, but, uh, you know, in jujitsu, I was being like throwing heads, you know, head bumps people. And I was like being aggressive, like hurt myself, the training. So I never was like really afraid of, of getting punched. So it was just like uncomfortable in the beginning, but after I start, you know, feeling that energy. It's it's a whole other thing, you know. Like there, there there's the energy that that feeling that you want to hit back. You're gonna hit uh, hit the guy back. So I've been training a lot, you know, on my on my feet too. So I I I I I believe in my on my on my hands. <laughs> if you yeah, see yeah. in my last fight, I knocked my opponent out. Um, I yeah. So I have one knockout and. 
you know, every fight that I do, you know, I'm a, I'm a totally like, I'm a, I'm a straight up fighter. I, I go to fight, even if it's a ground on the top, it doesn't matter. If it's on my feet, I'll fight any, like anyone. Get that finish no matter where it is. You yeah, know what I mean? <laughs> that's what I go for. <laughs> now, you know, you talked about that journey to winning that IBJJF tournament. How does that championship help prepare you to a season format of the PFL? IBJJF tournament? What do you mean? Like the... Like how does going through that tournament and becoming a championship in that in that kind of um, format prepare you for the PFL season format? Oh, I don't think it would prepare me for PFL. I have to adapt myself to to MMA. Uh, the thing that I have, like, is I'm I, I'm not I'm not like a, a fighter who only does uh, one type of rule set. I've been doing I've been doing like uh, EBI rule set. I've been doing like ADCC rule set, flow grappling rule set, IBGF two. You know, uh, uh, like rule sets that makes you know like makes me improve not as a as, as on the jiu-jitsu like but as a fighter you know so i i did fought like pretty tough guys and i sharp my my game for my, my ground game you know and i believe that whatever it brings to the ground it will help me a lot uh, on pfl or even yeah. my wrestling too i, I believe that just that that's that's a good that's a good question though because like i used to have a a decent wrestling but then when i started getting prepared for like tournaments like uh just like uh adcc i have to train a lot of wrestling so my my stands you know my 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 wrestling got way better because i have to be you know prepared for that and you know for pfl you want to be on top you never want to be on bottom for any MMA fight, you know, but uh, you know, I I I believe that I have a really good game, a good game, you know, to take somebody down and finish, or to be on the ground and you know try to overcome and surprise somebody. So yeah. Now your opponent Itzo Babulidze, uh, he has a couple of grappling matches as well. Or have you seen any of his grappling, or what have you seen about his fights that maybe you f- you feel like you should look out for? I haven't seen a lot of fights of him uh, uh, in the grappling, but I but I heard he's he's good. I saw I saw in the last fight that he had against a, a Greco, a guy a, a wrestling guy on on a PF a PFL. He did take he did take the guy down, you know, and he worked his ground and pound and things. Uh, so that, that was kind of surprised, you know. For me, I mean, he 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 knows what he's getting to, you know, like. Uh, I have my, I have my ground game. I believe it's better than his. Uh, he knocked the guy down, knocked the guy out over there, uh, PFL. Uh, I will try to not make the same mistakes, you know, but just like I said, you know, uh, grappling is my number one. Uh, he knows that's my, my number one, uh, uh, game, but I won't be afraid to like, to try to throw hands, like, you know, striking or getting to the ground. If he try to take me down. You're gonna go for it, you know. I, I don't care, man. I, I'm a fighter, just like I said. I'm gonna fight. Um, I, I saw that his style is like pretty solid. We pretty much have this kind of the same style, you know. Like he, he goes after like very aggressive, and uh, I believe that's gonna be a really good fight. <laughs> no, I'm really looking forward to it, and that's why the PFL Challenger Series has that as the main event for that evening. Now, what message do you have for your fans back home, and then everybody on social media? Well, that this time I'm actually this this fight actually gonna happen. You know, I hopefully, <laughs> you know, my food doesn't get uh, my my opponent doesn't get food poisoning or or uh, nothing happened. But uh, I'm 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 really I'm really uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, you know we're gonna go out there and and have a good show for the people. That's what I look for. If everybody watched my fights on Jiu Jitsu, that's what I'm bringing uh, over there in the cage. You know, I'm going out there to fight. And you know, entertain the people, uh, fight my best, and and that's it, man. I I'm I'm really excited. Finally, you know, have an opponent that won't won't be won't put out put out this 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 time this whole time. Everybody was just like, man, when is you gonna fight? When you gonna when is your fight is? And when it finally was supposed to happen, it didn't happen. I got a lot of fans, you know, that was a little 
uh, upset with it. But uh, at this time, it, I'm I'm pretty sure that is going to happen, and I'm excited for it. And that everybody's it's uh it's looking forward to watch me. They won't be disappointed. Absolutely, man. I will be there in Orlando uh, checking you out live. So hopefully afterwards uh, we get to do a winner's circle interview with Mo hopefully that contract in hand for you. Um, there Lucas you Barboza, PFL welterweight. Thank you, my man, for your time and good luck in your fight. All right. Well, it was appreciated, my man. Thanks so much for the for the interview. Thank you for your time.